Yo, 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 this is Chris. I'm back at that coffee or breakfast shop I'm always in. Just having a little bit of coffee, just finished my breakfast. And, you know, I want to talk about something that most people don't talk about. I mean, how many trainers or other gurus are out there talking about downtime? Right? They're always talking about their good times and good times. And, you know, to me that's bullshit because the reality is they're not always having good times. I mean, that's the honest truth. I mean, there's no business, no seller out there who doesn't have ups and downs in their business. And it's easy to sit here and, and talk about when things are going well and things that you're doing and, 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 and talk about that. What's not easy is to stand up and admit, hey, look, things have been going bad the last few days and, and what are we going to do to fix this, right? So, you know, I've had three bad days in a row and I want to just stand up here and say, look, here's what's going on and I'm going to tell you what I'm doing to fix it and I'm pretty sure the fix is going to work. Um, and also I'll teach you guys something about this too because, you know, no matter how good things are going right now or bad they're going right, there's going to be ups and downs in your business and you need to be mentally prepared for that to happen and you also need to understand what to do in the case that that does happen. Well, you know, I've been, fortunately, I've been in this game for a long, long time and, you know, back in Teespring, so I understand that this is an up and down thing, right? I understand that the physical product business has ups and downs, right? This is part of the game. I've seen it before. I'm not surprised. So my mental condition for this is totally fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not upset about this at all. Um, I'm not happy about it, of course, but I'm not upset about this, right? So, um, but if, for those of you who are new to this game, I want you to, to just understand that, look, there is going to be down times. That is inevitable. Every seller faces that in our business, and if they tell you that they don't, they're fucking liars. Okay? Excuse my language, but. All right, so, mentally prepare yourself. And what I suggest you do for that is, you gotta be some, you gotta toughen up your mindset. So, um, I, love, I love Les Brown. I listen to Les Brown all the time. But something that will help you build that belief in yourself and, and what you're doing, right? That is a key thing to overcoming these rough times, okay? So that's one thing is set the mindset straight. And, and this is not fluff, guys. It really is not because it's easy to be happy and go lucky and, and continue pushing forward when things are going well. But it's harder to do it when things are not going well. And it can become a negative spiral. And here's why. Because if you say, oh, God, man, it's not going well, and you put your head in the sand and you, and you don't continue going forward, it's a negative spiral because non-action will continue to, to create, produce the bad results. Okay, so, so mentally prepare yourself, okay? Number two, nothing, absolutely nothing, has a bigger effect on your business than new products, okay? Not new ad types. Now, new ad types can help, right? Changing some things and tweaking your ads and analyzing that can help. And I'm going to tell you about a pattern I just noticed by analyzing my ads. But the first thing that I did was, you know, think, focus on that. And happened for the last couple of days is, is work with my designer, work with my suppliers, and get new stuff to the market. New things. New things. New product will, can, even, even if it's a t-shirt, if you're saying a t-shirt and you sell a new type of t-shirt, if it's a brand new t-shirt no one's ever sold before, you come up with an original idea, hey, that can take off and start driving your business. It really, is this a small number of products in our business that really drive this business? It's a 20-80 role in the physical product business. So all you need is one or two good sell, new sellers and hey, bang, suddenly people are going to your website and when they're on your website, they're buying other stuff. So, I mean, new products. Absolutely nothing will regenerate your business to new products. So think about new products, okay? New ideas for current products is fine. You know, if you got a good type, you got a type, good type of product and that was selling well, but then you know the ones that you, the current versions of it that you have out are not working, then try to come up with an original idea, right? And launch that or a new type of product that you've never sold before. Okay, so new products is more than anything. Okay, that's one thing, right? So mentally prepared and new products. Okay, number two is this. Just because the overall results are not bad, are, are not good, which they have not been from the last three days, to be honest with you, right? I mean, I mean, totally transparent here. It doesn't mean that everything is going wrong, okay? So it's a mistake to panic and think everything is going wrong. So what I decided to do is, I, I, this morning I decided to spend, and I spent a good time. I mean, I, 
I spent a lot of time this morning analyzing my ads, okay? Now normally I just analyze the data on the each individual ad and like pause and can kill or, or, or whatever, right? But no, what I what I, what I wanted to do is I, I actually made a spreadsheet. Uh, and I took the ads that were working and I looked to see what the targets were. Okay? And I wrote those down. And then I looked took the ads that were not working, and I looked to see and I made a spreadsheet the targets that are not working. So that I could get a clear, I was trying to see if I could find a pattern. And now, in, in often, you cannot find a pattern, and that's just the way it goes, it sucks. So you just gotta test out new stuff. But, in this particular case, I actually found a clear cut pattern. And those of you who are gonna be watching this video, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal that pattern to you. My broad targeting ads are still working. My precise targeting ads are not. All my broad targeting that were in like 800,000 to a million or more are still getting results. The ones below that were very, very inconsistent over the last week. I looked at the daily reports. So, <laughs> the next thing I'm doing now is focusing on broad targeting, okay? So, guys, you know, so there was a process here. Mentally prepared, get new products out, and then analyze what's working and, and realize what's not working and try to find a pattern, okay? So you can, you can change some things, right? So anyway, guys, I hope you got value out of this video. Um, if you're if you're listening to it, I would mess up. I would go ahead and go into Facebook Ads Manager, change up your targeting a bit. Um, I think it might affect your results because I'm, I'm I'm pretty positive it will for me. But of course, I haven't tested out just going for 100% broad targeting. Um, I will from this point um, forward uh, because I just saw that pattern. But anyway, cheers! I've got value out of this. And guys, I got private coaches, students that are getting results left and right. I mean, period. You guys, I mean, results. So I've been doing coaching for years, so if you're interested in private coaching, I've got both spot coaching, one hour coaching, and I've got uh, long-term three months consulting. Private message me and I'll see you in the next video.